At Shelton School District, the health and safety of our students, staff, and families remains our top priority. We have been hard at work making sure we are ready to safely welcome students back for in-person learning in a blended model. Students will attend school face-to-face -face on Monday and Tuesday or Thursday and Friday. Wednesdays are online learning days for all, with staff having office hours, planning, and or online class meetings. Pre-K, kindergartners, and grades one, five, and seven are set to return to school on February 22nd. Grades two, three, four, six, and eight through 12 are set to start March 15th. In this video, we will go over what a typical day will look like while at school and highlight important safety procedures to ensure that students and staff are as safe as possible when they return to school. So what does a typical day look like? All students must wear face masks. All students are required to wear a face mask that covers their nose and mouth at all times while at school and on buses. Students should bring their own face covering daily, but schools can provide masks to students who forget them. Reusable, multi-layer cloth masks are recommended. Gators do not provide acceptable protection. Reusable masks should be laundered regularly or anytime that they become soiled. If your child rides the bus, they are required to wear a mask. Our bus drivers will carry extras just in case. All students will sit in their assigned seats. Siblings can sit together in a seat, but all other students will sit one student per seat. All high contact areas and seats will be sanitized between routes and when they return to the bus garage. Before arriving at school, elementary students, parents, and or guardians will fill out a daily COVID attestation form. Students will be given unique QR codes. Each school will work with families to provide attestation forms. Parents and or guardians will send the form to school with their student every day. The QR code is unique for every student and cannot be used for other students in the family. Middle, junior high, and high school students will be given unique QR codes and will answer the COVID questions themselves upon arrival to school. Or they will have the option to sign in using their smartphones and answer the questions in advance by visiting the app screenmein.com. When students arrive to campus, they will go to a COVID screening location near the front entrance or bus entrance at each campus. The screening locations will be clearly marked. If students arrive late, they will go to the screening location at the front office. At the COVID screening location, students will scan their QR code at the screening kiosk. The kiosk will scan their temperature. The screener will ask the attestation questions if the student has not already answered them. If the student passes the questions and their temperature is under 100 degrees, they will be admitted into the building and asked to go to a hand washing station to wash their hands. If the student does not pass the questionnaire, or their temperature is above 100 degrees, they will be sent to a secondary screener for a more advanced screening. If their temperature is confirmed 100 degrees or higher, or if the child is visibly ill, not related to seasonal allergies, or if any of the questions are confirmed as a yes answer, the student will be taken to an isolation room and their parent, guardian, or emergency contact will be asked to pick them up. Students who fail screening may not return to school for three calendar days or longer if quarantine is required and their symptoms or temperature have subsided. It is important for students to keep their hands clean throughout the day. Students must wash their hands upon arriving to school and will be required to wash them at multiple points throughout the day. This includes before eating meals, after recess, after PE, and completing projects or activities. Hand sanitizer stations have also been placed throughout our campus to help supplement hand washing. Although students will be excited to see their friends again when returning to campus, six feet of physical distancing will be required at all times, except when incidentally passing each other in hallways and momentary encounters on campus. Students will be able to talk to each other at appropriate moments, and there will be opportunities for socializing but masks and distancing will be required. 
classrooms have been set up so that tables and desks are six feet apart, side to side, and back to front. Our maintenance department has been working with our buildings to determine max capacity for students to safely distance in a classroom while sitting six feet apart. Students will not be sharing supplies or materials. Students will sanitize their hands upon entering the classroom. At the end of class, students will help wipe down their desk or any materials if they are transitioning to another class. Students will not bring their Chromebook back and forth for grades K through six. In grades seven through 12, they will be asked to bring their Chromebooks to and from home and school. Schools will be contacting families and publishing school supply lists on the district website. Teachers and students will continue to use the K-12 curriculum during hybrid. Meals will remain free for all students for the remainder of the 2020-21 school year. Meals will be in grab-and-go bags with a complete breakfast or lunch, and all items will be prepackaged. While at school, students will pick up their lunch, and depending on their school, go to the commons, cafeteria, or classroom to eat. During Stage B, or the blended model, grab-and-go meal services will continue at the Shelton High School, Evergreen Elementary, and Bordeaux Elementary from 10.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. on scheduled school days for students learning remotely, and also for community members 18 years of age or younger. Meals are limited to one breakfast and one lunch per child per day. We are working hard to provide as many meals as possible to every child in need. If a student receives meals while at school, they are not to pick up meals for the same day from the open site. K-8 schools, along with Choice and Cedar High School, will release 60 minutes early for asynchronous learning. Shelton High School will release at 12.30 for asynchronous learning. Asynchronous learning means that they will be learning independently from home. Students will also have three asynchronous days a week. Schools will be reaching out with more information. Shelton School District will continue to focus on creating a safe and healthy school environment as we transition to in-person learning. If you have questions, feel free to contact your school or call our district office at 360-426-1687 or visit our district website. We look forward to seeing you soon.